So today I'm gonna show you the 25 best plugins I use on my Minecraft SMP server. I've made a video like this before about a year ago. Since then lots of stuff has changed and it's time to redo the video but then with the current state of the server. The many plugins in this video you will recognize from top 10 videos and plugin tutorials I've made here on the channel, though some other plugins will be completely new and never covered before here on the channel. Before we start though, it will mean a lot if you could leave a like, also check if you're already subscribed to the channel, as more than 90% of people watching my videos are actually not subscribed. More than 90%, that's a lot. It just takes a single click, two clicks if you also want to name notifications and with those two clicks you would help me out for a lifetime and then with it any further ado let's uh, dive right into this to know before we start is that this list is not in any particular order, meaning that number 1 is not any better than number 25. Also, all the plugins I cover in this video will be linked in the description, so you can download them and install them on your own server. And last but not least, if you click on the information icon in the top right corner of the screen, you will find my Minecraft tutorial playlist there. Many of the plugins I will cover in this video, I've actually made a tutorial about, so if you want to check it out, that's where you can do it. Enough talking! Let's do this. So the first plugin on the list is World Edit. Probably one of the most well-known plugins out there. Now what does World Edit do? Well, it lets you easily edit the world. So if I type slash slash want, I will get my tool. And now I can just select two points, for example, this one over there. And then uh, this point over here. And now we're gonna do set stone and now we got stone i can also do slash slash undo and then for example use the command slash slash replace i'm gonna replace air for stone and now you can see that it did not destroy any blocks but it just changed all the air blocks into stone the world edit is a very cool plugin and you can do lots of stuff with it this what you see here is the basics of the basics i did make a tutorial on world edit so do check it out but it's a great plugin and a must have on any minecraft server next on on the list we got world guard world guard is a plugin that will need world edit installed on your server otherwise it will not work and with world guard you can create regions in your minecraft server where players can't break blocks so this spawn area you see over here we call it brookburg it has all been claimed by world guard and because of it players will not be able to break or place any blocks inside of this city. Now besides only protecting some area, there are many flags you can change. You can for example make it so that in a particular area people will be able to PvP and in another area they will not be able to. You can make it so that in certain areas mobs don't spawn. It's very customizable, very nice and it's 100% necessary for my next plugin which is Advanced Region Market. So Advanced Region Market is a very cool plugin that allows you to sell World Guard regions. So here inside of the Sorocrat SMP spawn we got some shops here like you can see for rent this stand over here is for sale so players will be able to rent it and after that they can start a shop here which is exactly what this person has done so they rented the stand and after that made a shop in here so players will be able to buy stuff from you now the selling of the world guard regions that's what advanced region market does creating the actual shops though like you can see over here that's an entirely other plugin called chest shop so chest shop allows you to create well shops from chests literally that's what it does so here we got the chest with a sign on it and it says pet beef is selling one diamond chest plate for one okay awesome so with all of these plugins combined we made it so the players can buy a stand and create a shop in there and everything goes automatic so even though pet beef is not online i can still buy a diamond chest plate from him which is exactly what i'm gonna do right now oh i can't because i'm in creative can I now? You don't have enough money. Ah, oh, come on. I would never cheat. Never. 10. Uh, is it? Yeah? <laughs> Here you go, pet beef. You can have my money. Uh, I want lots of diamond access. Wow. So all the plugins I covered until now are absolutely amazing and combined they will allow you to make player shops like this. Now I did also make a tutorial here on the channel on how to make this player shop all the way from start to finish. You can find the video in my plugin tutorials playlist. Okay, the next plugin is auto whitelist remove. And this plugin is really really helpful if you have a whitelist on your server. It will make it so that after 30 days of inactivity, players will be removed from your 
your whitelist. So just in my case, with StarCraft SMP, players can get themselves on the whitelist through my Discord server. If they are inactive for more than 30 days, their name will be removed from the whitelist again. Extremely handy to keep your whitelist organized. Now next we got a very cool plugin, if I say so myself, it is Beauty Quests. And Beauty Quests is a plugin that allows you to have quests on your Minecraft server. Now Citizens is a dependency for this plugin, meaning that you will need Citizens installed on your Minecraft server to be able to use Beauty Quests. If you don't know what Citizens is, Citizens is basically a plugin that allows you to create NPCs. So this NPC over here was created by Citizens, and if I right click here on the NPC, uh, okay, but over here you can see my quests scoreboard. So this scoreboard is indicating exactly which quest I have active and what I need to do for them. So in this case, monster hunter, I need to kill zombies, skeletons, creepers and spiders. And then in a few seconds it will go on to the next quest. There it is, stone breaker and I need to mine stone, granite and decide diorite. So those quests were created with beauty quests and the NPCs you see here, but also all the other NPCs on pretty much every single Minecraft server, they are made with citizens. So both great plugins, highly recommended. Because having quests on your server is just really, really cool. mc.soracraft.eu Okay, next one, better RTP, a must have for any survival server. Especially if you have a large player base, around your spawn everything will be built completely full. It's very annoying for new players to walk 20,000 blocks only to find a place where nothing has been built yet. Well, with better RTP you can just randomly teleport to a place in the world. So I'm gonna stand here, slash RTP, enter, and and here we go, I'm in a random place, somewhere. And now I will be able to start my Minecraft survival adventure. All right, next on the list we got Core Protect. Now Core Protect is a great plugin that will lock everything that happens on your Minecraft server. What? Except for that, I guess. So by typing slash co inspect, inspector now enabled, I will be able to click on a block, for example, the carpet here, and I can see everything it has been through. In this case, it has only been placed 200 days ago by this player. If I go to my own home and I click on the block here, I can see exactly who placed it, how long ago, which block, all that information. Especially if somebody has grieved on the server, it is really, really handy. Because with Core Protect, you can easily find whoever did it. Because you can see who removed it. And even if a player blows something up with TNT, so you can still see the player's name who lit off the TNT. Okay, next on the list is Decent Holograms. This is actually a plugin I very, very recently made a tutorial about. It is great. Decent Holograms allows you to make holograms just like this. So the floating text in the sky, we call them holograms, and decent holograms allows you to make them. Now there are many hologram plugins out there, though most of them are not getting updated that frequently. Decent holograms is getting updated very quickly, especially when a new Minecraft version comes out, you will be able to download the new decent hologram version in like a day, maybe even less. And that's just great. So I would highly recommend decent holograms. Like I said, I recently made a tutorial about it, so if you want to check that one out, information icon in the top right corner will bring you to my tutorials playlist. Next we got three plugins in one, and that's Essentials X, Essentials Chat, and Essential Spawn. So what is Essentials? Well, the name kind of implies it, it is pretty essential to your Minecraft server. Simple commands like slash spawn or slash home or slash kit slash ender chest. All those pretty essential Minecraft commands is what Essentials X adds. It is really great. Also slash fly and that you can just type slash gm1 except for game mode creative. That's also really nice. Now Essentials chat is an add-on that only works if you have Essentials X installed and it will do your chat management. So here you can see a small conversation. This person is saying something, their name is gray, their text is white. Then down here you can see my name. My name has owner in front of it because I'm in the owner rank. That stuff is all possible because of Essentials Chat. Now Essentials Chat does not actually add the color, but it's something that Essentials Chat allows. The plugin that actually makes our name this color and that shows owner in front of my name, that is Lugperms. And Lugperms is a permissions plugin. And ironic enough, it is probably more essential than Essentials X. So Lugperms will allow you to make groups, 
put players inside of those groups and then assign different permissions to every single group. So if you have the fly permission, you will be able to use slash fly. So you can, for example, only give a VIP player slash fly and make it so that the default player can't do slash fly. That's luck perms. So because I'm in the owner rank, I will be able to do everything here on the server. He is not in the owner rank, he's just a default player. Which means he can also do lots of stuff, but not everything. He will be limited. So he will be able to set homes, buy player shops, teleport to other players. Now the reason it's so essential is because by default in Minecraft, players will have access to pretty much nothing. So let's say you would install many plugins on your server, then non-OP players will be able to do pretty much nothing with them. And only when you give permissions, non-OP players will be able to use that plugin. And that's the funny thing, to add permissions, you will need a permissions plugin. So it's pretty essential, even more than Essentials X, because you can you can install Essentials X on your Minecraft server, but if nobody can use any commands, then what are you gonna do with it? I mean, it's nice for the admins, but still, kinda boring. Oh yeah, Essentials Spawn. I didn't really go into that plugin. I don't think I need to. The only command it adds is slash spawn. So yeah, I, I don't know. I would add it if you have a spawn. Okay, next on the list is a very cool plugin I've only installed on the server recently. It is called Graves. Let's collect some items. I want this, I want that, and that, and that as well. Perfect. Now let's go and type RTP, just to a random place. Okay, perfect. Game mode zero. And now I want to die. I might be able to drown myself. That's a good plan. Come on. Yeah. And now we just wait. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Going great. And that's it. Perfect. Respawn. And now you will see, first of all, a very shocked player. And second of all, you died in Overworld at this location. A grave was created that lasts three hours. Now we got a compass. This compass will lead me to the place where my grave is. So if you follow this compass, eventually you will find your grave. Now I'm lazy, so I'm not gonna do that. There we go. Okay, this is what a grave will look like. So you can see a head here under the water. It's saying owner Casasora's grave. You can see exactly how long it will last before it will disappear. It will also say how many levels you have. It will give you the reason why the player died. And when we right click click on it, you can see all my items. Just grab them all, go out of it, and there it is. Now, if you have a Minecraft SMP server, especially if it's in hard mode, which is the case for Soracraft SMP, I would highly recommend it. I have to tell you, at the start, I actually didn't want to add this plugin because I thought it would kind of ruin the survival experience. Though when I did eventually add it, I've literally never seen my player base that happy. They enjoyed the Graves plugin so freaking much. Now you can customize it just how you want. So you can make it so that other players can also open your grave or that you can only open your own grave yourself. You can make it so that it stays there for an infinite amount of time or you set it so that it stays for three hours. It's all customizable, it's very cool and from my own experience, players really love it. So highly recommend it. Next in line, we have Grief Prevention. And Grief Prevention is a plugin that allows players to claim an area where only they will be able to break and place blocks. So I made a kit here on my server, I call it slash kit claim. So just type that, press enter, and you will get two tools. A shovel and a stick. Now the shovel will tell you how many claim blocks you have left. In my case, a lot. Now I can select two areas here in the world, for example. Okay, for example, press there, yeah, and then Going to here, press there, bam, area has been created. Use slash trust to share with friends. So currently this is my region. Everything you see between these corners is now mine. And only I, Kasai Sora, will be able to place and break blocks in here. Now I can trust other players, of course, so we can still build together on builds, but outsiders will not be able to grave your home or kill your animals or whatsoever. It's a very nice plugin and highly recommended for any type of SMP server. Now with the stick, you can see where the claims are. So if I just press here inside of this claim, you can see exactly where the claim is. And you can do that everywhere. So with the stick, you can find claims and with the golden shovel, you can claim areas. It's cool, it's epic, highly recommend it, great plugin. Next, we got G-Sit. Now, G-Sit is a plugin that allows you to sit. Slash sit, I'm sitting, G-Sit. Bam, uh, yeah, 
You can also do slash lay, for example. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm laying. Uh, am I dead? <laughs> I'm dead, I guess. That's very interesting. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Why does it look like this? Do other players also see this? I don't know. But you can do slash lay, slash sit, slash crouch as well, slash swim. Just a cool plugin to let players frick around. Now the next plugin on the list is Multiverse Core. The Multiverse Core allows you to create multiple Minecraft worlds. So by default, every single Minecraft server has three worlds. The overworld, the nether, and the end. Now with Multiverse Core, you can create even more worlds. So for example, you can create a plot world, or you can just create a second overworld, or a second end, or a second nether, whatever. Everything you want is pretty much possible. And with Multiverse Inventories, another very handy plugin that will need Multiverse Core installed to actually work, you can also separate the inventories. So let's say you're adding a creative world with Multiverse Core, and you already have a survival world besides that, you can make it so that the survival world and the creative world have a different inventory. Which is uh, pretty smart, you probably want to do that. Now the next plugin on the list is No Mob Grief. What No Mob Grief does is what it says. It prevents mobs from grieving your Minecraft server. Now you might be like, Kassasura, why do you have a separate plugin to prevent mobs from grieving your server? You know that there's just a simple game rule that does that. I know, viewer, I know. But the game rules just don't do it right. Because if you set mob grieving off through the game rules, then snowman will actually not leave a trail of snow anymore. In other words, snow farms are not possible anymore. And that's probably something you want. Also, if you turn mob grieving off, villagers will not be able to farm. Because to farm, they will need to break a block and after that place a seed again. Breaking a block is griefing. In other words, villagers can't farm. And that's also not what you want. Now still, there might be some of you thinking to yourself, Okay, Kassasura, fair point. But you got world guards. And world guards can also prevent mobs from grieving your server. While leaving snow trails and farming by villagers on. And that is true again. And we're actually using world guard here on the server to make sure 99% of mobs cannot grieve. But then still, there's one particular thing that world guard does not cover. Which is some wither damage. So we all know the Minecraft wither. It has multiple moves. One of them is exploding. As soon as you spawn it, it will first explode. And after that, it will start shooting skulls. Now I have to say, I don't remember which one, but one of those two is not covered by World Guard. And for exactly that scenario, we use No Mob Grief. Because No Mob Grief does cover it. So basically the only thing No Mob Grief covers here on the server is one attack from one mob that world guard does not cover for the rest world guard is fine it covers everything except for one move from the wither and for some reason we need to install a totally separate plugin to make sure the wither won't destroy the world oh what a long story for a simple plugin okay next one the next plugin is called playtime it will allow you to do slash play time enter and you can see your playtime. So I've played for 2 days, 15 hours, 15 minutes and 25 seconds. And in total I've joined this server 158 times. That's cool. That's pretty useful information. And it's just nice to see. I always want to see my playtime. I don't know why. Okay, we're coming close to the end. The next plugin is Tab. This is what Tab does. You see Soracraft SMP Season 3 all the way at the top. Beneath that you can see an animation. Beneath that you can see my username and the username of another player here on the server. Now because I'm the owner, I will always appear on the top of the list. An admin will always appear beneath me. Default players will always appear at the bottom. And all the way at the bottom we also got an IP address mc.soracraft.eu make sure to join mc.soracraft.eu the Soracraft network epic server but that's all tab it's the plugin tab that does that it's a really really great plugin I enjoy it a lot and I would recommend checking it out okay next we got vault now vault is not a plugin that does something particular on its own but you could see it as a plugin that hooks multiple plugins together so like I mentioned earlier in this video the reason my name is purple and I got owner in front of my name is because of Lookperms. Lookperms is the plugin that does that. But Tab is the plugin that shows it here inside of my tab list. Now to make that link between Lookperms and Tab, 
you will need Vault. Also, for everything that has to do with economy, you will need Vault. So if you're gonna install Essentials and have Essentials sell signs on your server, then you actually don't need Vault yet. But as soon as you want to make a chest shop, you will also need to install Vault. It's just an API for lots of things. And I found that the best way to explain what it does, if you know nothing about it, is just linking plugins together. Making sure plugins can work together. So Lurperms and Essentials Chat. Lurperms and Tab. Essentials and Chest Shop. For all of that stuff, you will need Vault. Vault is more than recommended. I would put it in the tab essential plugins. Alrighty, next we got a vein miner. What does vein miner do? Well, if I mine this ore, you can see I got it now. But if I walk to this ore and to mine this one, but then I'm holding shift at the same time, I will mine all five of them. That's vein miner. You can mine a whole vein at once. It also works for trees. So if you got an axe, you can mine a whole tree at once. Very cool. Very handy, great add-on to your micro server. And then, it's already time for the very last plugin here on this list. It is World Guard Extra Flags. Oh my, what? No. Why? <laughs> it adds extra flags to World Guard. Uh, that's it. So, like I explained earlier, with World Guard you got many flags. So if I type region flags, like that, you can see the flags for global. So block place, do you want it allowed or denied? Block break, allowed or denied? Sleep, allowed or denied? And then if you scroll all the way to the very last page, you can see third party flags. And all of these flags here are from World Guard extra flags. So it just adds extra stuff, which is cool. Especially the keep inventory one is really cool. So with the flag keep inventory, you can make it so that in a specific region, if you die in a specific region, you will actually keep your stuff. And in other areas, you will lose your stuff. That's really cool, for example, a PvP arena. We had a PvP arena in Soracraft SMP Season 2. And if players died in that arena, they would keep their stuff. Though outside of that arena, they would lose it. So that's pretty cool, I would say. Now that was the top 25 plugins I use on my Minecraft server. Now I'm gonna be really honest with you, I use 26 plugins on my Minecraft server. But top 26 just doesn't sound that great. I will do the last one as a bonus, it is Bungie Guard. It's not even really a plugin I use on this server. Bungie Guard is only a way to link this server, Soracraft SMB Season 3, to the Soracraft network in a secure way. Basically it's just a plugin that adds some security that's it but still that's plugin number 26 and now i have actually covered every single plugin i use here on soracraft smp and then that's gonna be it i really really hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did make sure to leave a like also smash that subscribe button and click on the notification bell you would help me out a lot by doing that you actually would look at these analytics become part of the 10 percent that is actually subscribed it would mean a lot 10 percent gang <laughs> anyway i hope you have an amazing day and then i will see you in the next one bye bye